So what's up? I'm just doing a quick live showing what I got uh, pretty much from Saturday to now. Um, actually, I got one comic from Friday, but I just got it yesterday. So so it's pretty much a couple days. Uh, get some people up in here. Let's see. My stalker's here. <laughs> Oh, man, what's up? Oh, shit, what up? What up, Miguel? What's up, Keith? Keith just showed up a slab 2.0, so guess what? He's going to be showing up. Actually, just because Keith did the slabs, I, I want to show off the slabs. I probably already showed pictures of, but I'll show it right there. And then, um, and just, again, show off stuff I just got. Nothing crazy. Um, hey, yo. <laughs> so. Let's see. I'm just. Oh, sorry. I was trying to turn this damn light on, but I don't know. If it's so freaking hot today. <laughs> ah, fuck it. There we go. What up, what up? So let's start off with uh, the slabs. I'll try to be like uh, Keith right here. Little, um, what was this actually? The Pro Leaf number three. This is from last year pretty much. IDW Publishing. The cover is the only reason I got it. I think I tried to get number one of that comic. Wasn't crazy about it. But um, again, because you know, you got the whole Brendan Lee Pro up in here. I had to get it. Um, I think my girlfriend got her covered. I mean, co copy too, but I had to get mine CG seed. Again, a great friend that did it for me. Obviously, I paid, but it took only a month because I only just put them in. I didn't get them. Um, I didn't get them. What's up? What's up, Oliver Lebu? Uh, I didn't get them um, like clean, depressed. Probably if I did, one of them would have came out with better grade, but. This again, 9.8. Most of these are actually 9.8s because I don't probably, you know, I think uh, this is a Comic Time one on one exclusive, I believe. Or am I wrong? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is a Peach Momoko cover uh, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 110. So, right here, Comic Time one on one, Bill Geek Comics. I just got this because it looked kind of cool. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, they're always blowing up. So, I just wanted it slab for my own purposes. Doesn't probably cost much. Uh, I know the the croak is selling for... What's up, Juzzy? <laughs> I know the, the crow is selling for good money. This one, I had to get it done. I might have to look for the other cover. There's two different versions of this. This is the America number one. From what was this? From uh, 2017. Uh, there's another one. I think it has more writing on it. Um, and then um, this is America Chavez. So, and I got her new number ones as well. That just came out last week or two weeks ago. So, again, this is the hip hop variant, which is really Hamilton. Uh, it was a hip hop play. So, you got the little borders right here. So, it has a little uh, Hamilton homage or whatever. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's probably going up in value right now. This one right here is going up in value like crazy. This is uh, Punchline's first appearance. I think I got two more. I have to look for them. I can't find them. My girlfriend thinks I gave her one, which is possible. Yeah. I remember buying one off of Miguel, off of the comic book kid, as a set. Um, I believe when this was like just hot or whatever. Um, so... Right there, we have the talk. Yeah, so, uh, again, this is awesome because I put this in February, got it March, quick as hell, and without getting pressed or clean. Um, so I got that. Again, these are basically going to be my PCs. If I get another one done, now I'll sell it, but, you know, that, that went up in value. And uh, Murder Hobo, which I have another copy of this. I don't know how this got a 9.6. Everything else got a 9.8, but it happens. Um, this is a special variant. Um, I think I have the paper. It was like 247 out of whatever. I think there was only... Was it like 500 only made, I think? Or something like that. I really don't know. But uh, definitely uh, Sin City Comics. Scout Comics. It's in the back. Um, this is a glow-in-the-dark cover. I got this. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what's up? Rigor Mortis. Jose, what's up? What's up? 
Yeah, so definitely glow in the dark. I liked it. Probably not seeing it right. Let me take off the. There we go. So, it's um. I'm not really uh. What's it called? A D and D or whatever type of player this is. I forgot what it is. I think it is. Um, and that's murder hobo's uh, terminology used in that. So I want to show off two comics. Uh, Jose, um, aka or Joey. 40 year old nerd had gave me on uh, this weekend um, as well as a card joking around because they keep, finally get that 181 so <laughs> it's uh the marvel card i forgot from what year it's uh, 1990s i love these cards and it go be, over here in 1990 shows you i think i even put it out posted it the 1990 overstreet guide value for a 70 for for this near mint this comic book not the card the Hulk 181, um, it was 75 bucks. So it's like, shit. <laughs> now this shit's going up ridiculous. Um, see you tomorrow, right? Where are you going tomorrow? I have no idea about tomorrow. Um, got, again, this is a hip hop cover. This is, uh, I believe, this. Um, <laughs> I know everybody's claiming. Uh, this is again um, Joey, aka Forty O Nerd, uh, gave me this. It's dope cover. You know I love my uh, hip hop variants. This is, I believe, um, Raekwon and Ghostface Killer. Um, I think it says. I think that was the cover on this one, but yeah, it's something about a. Uh, I think I posted it already. I forgot already. I'm so out of it. And then this crazy, uh, um, what was it, Wolverine number 27 that he got off of Torpedo Comics. I think this one he got off of uh, Big Chris. Big Chris has been doing those boxes, Austin Mystery Boxes. You get, what, I think it's like, if I'm, I might be wrong, I believe it's five comics, is it? Yes. I think it's five comics and one slab. That's correct. It's a hundred bucks now. So. I know. I missed that. <laughs> So I was like, yeah. So what definitely, and this one's from Torpedo Comics. And you know, sometimes they be overpriced and stuff on Torpedo. But, you know, maybe, maybe this shot up, I don't know. But it's definitely a dope cover, no matter what. I probably, I think I had this already in my stack, stack but come on. This is beautiful. I think, you know, Jim Lee, I think, it's not that. Just awesome. So I just love how he's drawn there. And he's going to be another one. <laughs> Claim that brown couch. <laughs> nope, Sylvester Actually, already there. Uh, yeah, Sylvester already there. He's on this side over here chilling. Hey, Sylvester. Oh. And, and the, the couch is not brown, actually. Where is it? Covers. That's the cover for the cat because... Um, allergies. Well, her allergies. I don't have no allergies with my cat. Oh, please. I just shouted you out. Oh, my God. And it's funny because it's such a small world finding out Miguel's nephew is somebody I went to school with. <laughs> I just dropped the card. I can't get it. My fat ass. <laughs> uh, big shout out to... I believe Mario got me this shirt. Oh, shit. What's up, V? There's my niece up in here. Okay, let me show off. Okay, I already showed off these two. Put that away. And the card. I don't want to mess it up. Picking it up. Oh. Thank you, Joey. Now, this one. Big shout out to Toys Alive. I bought this from Toys Alive. Someone got me in into their page. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. It's you know the couple. They, you know I believe they're married. They're an awesome couple. Um, they go on I think Fridays and and uh, Sundays. The Fridays is a comic book night. Like Miguel, I know Miguel's always on. Or the comic book kids always on Taco Tuesday nights. But I know he has other nights as well. I just don't know what he's talking about on Friday. Uh, Okay, so we got Toys Alive right here. I know it's backwards. Stay tuned for more. Um, they're on, on. Um, they're on here on IG. So it's Toys Alive. Uh, it's T O Y Z Z A L I V E, and um, you could just add them on. They have some crazy shits. We were watching them. I don't they know what time. Fun. They were fun. They were like, they were the having shots. Is beautiful. They were having shots and. 
and they were getting people to get on to get shots. And if you had a shot with them, you were getting a free comic. It was like ridiculousness. <laughs> um, they had this thing called wine and cheese, which was kind of cool. Um, where they pretty much had a comic book and a toy with it. And they had, I think there was a Robocop glow in the dark. But basically, uh, I got this from them. They gave me a pin. I don't know, it's a pirate pin somewhere around here. It says, hoy, ho, hoy. Uh, hoy, 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 which I know they stream. But it's a Swamp Thing number 24. 30 cents, a little goodness right here. It's from like, I think, um, 76 or something like that. But, you know, Swamp Thing's also awesome to have. I think I got the, uh, actually, no, I think I got this only for five bucks. Um, there were simple claims they have. But again, if you want claims as well, you got the comic book kid. He has claims. He has that his uh, special way of saying another one when he throws in extra stuff. They gave me cards. I had to crack live. They got me a Huey Lewis card right here. This is a, he just gave me a he met me at Collector Cave and pretty much gave me uh, this in a, in a bag after that rain that we had yesterday. Pretty much I was drenched. Steiner Brothers love the Steiner Brothers. Um, the, it went from a, I guess, music card or superstar card to WCW cards he gave me. I got three of them. Ricky Morton. So, favorite hold, figure four. <laughs> and Flying Brian Pillman. So, everybody knows him. Um, uh, but yeah, it was kind of cool. <laughs> Osha Huey claimed. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up. I, I thought she was gonna take it to be honest with you. So, um, um what Don't was worry. what was kind of cool was I actually got my Comic Time Mystery Box early. Um, we've been getting them late. I think the last one we just got this month, actually, the beginning of this month. And I was like, how am I getting February in like March fourth or whatever it was? Um, but we got this one early. Uh, I know forty old nerd and uh. Brooklyn didn't get theirs yet. They just got a meal that they here to went out. But let me show you what I got. It's kind of cool. Because everybody's talking about the Hobgoblin. And I think the next one has a mix of him. So I got this. The Web of Spider-Man 47. Nice and clean. The plastic they use is great. Feels like good mylar, good stuff. The print is awesome. The print is by... Um, just Jade... IG, okay. I, I could be saying that wrong, just like uh, my girlfriend over here. That it, it was a comics, 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 comics reads. What was it? No, it was like it wasn't that. What was it? Oh, a kid who reads comics. I think it was called a kid, a, a kid who reads comics. Is his IG name? She's like, who's this kid? A kid whore. Ed. Or ads, comics. I was like, what? <laughs> hey, that's a kid who reads comics. I was like, geez, you're killing me. <laughs> killing me, Smalls. I can't wait to meet the whore. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, check out uh, the Collector Kid for cards and more. The Collector Kid's actually cool. Whore ads. Yeah, whore ads. <laughs> oh, shit. This is Pop Headers in the building. What's up? LeBron Yossi, what's up? Oh, man. Kayla, what's up? Hello. Everybody say hi. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> comic Talks is in the house. So, yeah, let me go back. This is my Comic Time 101. Got the little print. Awesome print. My girlfriend's probably going to take that from me most likely. Absolutely. Um, Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man 47, I said. Yep. This one, I think she has a different copy. I had to buy her own copy. So, I got the, the out of 1,400, 1032. So there's three different versions he has on this. Actually, it's on the card. Yeah. So I got the middle version. Um, I got the minimals. So it's 28 trades, 1,400 minimals, and then 10, well, 1,000 virgin copies. So I got the one in the middle. I think, I'm not sure. You got this one or you got the trade? I think I got the trade. Yeah. Okay. She got the trade, but because if not, she would have stole this from me. I'm like, no, sorry. But I'm she got switch it. She ain't switching. I got my little certificate right there. It says who it came from and everything. Yeah, no, I'll make a copy. I got my Demon Days. I believe this is Peach Momoko. I'm not sure. I, again, I, I forgot what was on the... I think this was supposed to be Peach Momoko on the air. Yeah, it was. 
Uh, but it's Mike McCone on the cover. Peach Momoko does the, is on the interiors. So that's another thing. Um, that's, again, Mike McCone and Peach is on the interior. Oh, shit. Karan's in the building. <laughs> Kayla's getting all, all the love right now. <laughs> now, this comic is what I'm trying to understand. I'm assuming this comic I have right here is... Um, what is it? It's uh, Electric Black. It's freaking awesome the way it looks here. It looks it's a virgin variant. It looks like a photography and then mixed with some kind of computer graphics. But it's pretty much, I'm not sure... What it is, this is, actually, no, I know exactly what it is. This is a Electric Black um, bonus exclusive recently option by Piper Rudich. So, because I think the other op option was a Ashcan exclusive of only 50. People were lucky to get that one. That was Soul Stream uh, from Scout Comics and First Appearance. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that people are into, but hey. Uh, but you can see, there it goes. But definitely, this is hot. I don't know. It's definitely like, wow. That, you know, again, I have to be careful with her because she's into that crazy demonic stuff. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I th the artist that did this one had two copies. I only got this one. There was a, it was either this one or Batman. If I would have got Batman, you know, I would have gave it to Keith. Like the Superman, just it's cool because after just watching uh, uh, the Justice League this weekend with uh, Keith and the guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, and let's see who did the print on this one. Oh, Nate Johnson. Okay. Uh, did I say that right? I felt like I said it wrong. No, Nate Johnson. Uh, Nate Johnson has been doing a lot of prints lately. But uh, definitely is a dope one. Um, and then the, my other two comics. Uh, Fantastic Four 302, which look like um, Johnny Stone's t taking the mean dump or something like that. I don't know. It just looks like it, right? See? He's like, he flamed out on here. I don't know. <laughs> I am the collector now. <laughs> oh, man. And then um, I got a what if. Oh, there goes Joey. What's up, Joey? So I got a what if in the in here from Comic Time as well. So this is, a, I don't even know what the hell this would lie at because this doesn't even have a number. But it's a what if the age of apocalypse had not ended. And this is from like 81. I don't even remember this one. And I have newer what ifs from here. So it's kind of cool. But definitely some things to throw into my what-if pile, since it's hard to get them nowadays. Um, again, Comic Town, good one I got. I'm happy about it. It wasn't like, you know, like, oh my god, pure crap. I, I, I think the one in February I was kind of mad at, um, about wasting, but I got some, I think I got a version on that one too. Um, I got lucky on that one. I uh, picked up the, I'm not sure why, this feels like it's old. This is April... For June 2021 20, shipping products. But you never know. These little preview things. It could be something crazy in it. They did it was free. But I was at Collector Cave. And I picked up my, my comics from the past two weeks. So I got uh, the Teenage Mutant, Ninja, eh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 115. So that was a cool cover right there. Oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, the shirt? She already knows about the shirt. She can get her own shirt. <laughs> she got her presents already. My uh, birthday's coming. Her birthday's pretty much next week. So I already got her presents. I gave her one today. Actually, yesterday, uh, it kind of messed up in my bag because of the rain, but it's there. Um, I really want it, but I might have to steal it from her, even <laughs> though it's hers. We share. Uh, there's no sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Red X cover. What was this one? It's the Red X... DC debut, even though he's in another one. Um, this is Future State. I guess, yeah, Future State, Teen Titans. So I got that cover, and I think I have another cover for that one. I got the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 62. Got two different covers. I know some people are calling it Gaka, but uh, you just got to get it. What up, Eric? I got the Carnage, Black, White, and Red. Uh, what is that, Red? Black, White, and Blood. It's not even Red. It's that like Gleason... Uh, everybody loves. Uh, I don't know why I picked this up because I think I have a better cover, but I got another Wonder Woman, and I don't think she cares for it. So no, it's a good I didn't. thing. 
so it, st like it stays in my collection. Yeah. But she, she, usually I get her copy, get my copy. What I was mad is the Harley Quinn that just came out yesterday, gone. They had one copy left, and the cover was messed up, and I said no. But I did pick up my Black Label book number six, because this is a pretty good read right here. I have to go and... I think this is almost done, isn't it? It's, isn't it like... Is it soon done? I think. I'm not sure. It was out of six or out of eight, but I could be wrong. Um, I thought I pre-ordered this, but I didn't. And they have many sitting there. So the Scotty Young Alien cover. So I had to get it since that's back out now. Um, Alien, sorry. Not Aliens. A Batman number four. I got this cover because I heard his first appearance of somebody in there. I don't know. Um, I think I have all the other ones. The black and white. Batman black and white. Lulu celebration will consist of cocaine male strippers and blackjack. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That, did they have... I know if, um, Royal Collectibles had that thing. Did they have it? Because I know somebody was asking for freaking something that wasn't even around. Berserker foil, which is next week, I think. Or you have to... Actually, it's probably another couple of weeks. You have to pre-order it. And he was asking for it like it was out already. Uh, Champion Outlaws. Uh, Outlaw number five. I, I think I have the other ones. Oh, uh, so... Are you showing your crow? <laughs> you can show it. Finish. Yeah. I have Ha Ha number three, which we just found out. If you collect Common Time 101, you're getting a Ha Ha number three special cover and some other ones. Berserker came out Wednesday. The, the foil cover? So I don't even know about that. I know if you, you know if you want somebody to get, get it from, go hit up uh, the comic book kid. Maybe he might have one or two around there. I don't know. Uh, he might know who to, who to get it from. Uh, the other Amazing Spider-Man 62, which has Man-Thing on it. You know, I kind of like that. It's a little thing. I don't know. There's a lot of Man-Thing love right now going on. Um, and then the last comic, which I told you was the... I think this is the main cover? No. There's a variant cover. The Teen Titans Academy 1. Um, there you go. Oh, you got it? Cool. That's awesome. I hope you got it before other people did. So, and then my my woman, I got her this, which I really wanted myself. <laughs> which I might have to buy myself one. But it's the Crow. Uh, oh, yeah. The deluxe action, action figure, which I bought this at Collector Cave. They have a few more, like three or four more on their wall. Uh, pretty much dope. I had the original one. I think that was like a fight scene on the rooftop. This one just looks dope because, it come on, it has awesome tombstone. has... The, the crow, actually two crows, it has two. the flying one that you could probably put on your shoulder maybe or something like that, I don't know, yeah. and then his hand that he does the look through, so it was, it was pretty dope, yeah, I was like, when we saw it, it was great, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, but I wonder what's that nick right there, but yeah, it's dope, um, I might have to pick up my own and see, I, you know, it's, I think it was like 30 bucks there, who knows, you know, scanning might get it cheaper somewhere else, but definitely it's a diamond selection, and Collect the Cave has it on the wall. Check if your shops have it. If not, definitely go over there. They have some good stuff over there. Um, but pretty much that's it. Just going through all my stuff again. Um, but big shout outs to Toys Alive. Uh, I want to have to put all this stuff away now. Actually, I'll take pictures of most of the stuff for the Comic Time uh, Mystery Mail Call stuff. Never know if I could win. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but the Swan thing right here, definitely dope. From uh, Toys Alive, I got this five bucks. Um, oh, what's up, Janet? Uh, and I love the stuff I got from Joey. That was dope as hell. And the card. Um, I'm going show you the slabs again. Ninja Turtles. The Crow. Leaf number three, I think, which, come on. <laughs> or I should just go like that. Uh, and I have the Funko Pop, the glow in the dark still. Uh, I'm never letting go of that one. I'm getting rid of all of them. Yeah, I, I shot it out twice, Joe. You weren't here the first time. Uh, the America number one, which is America Chavez, hip-hop variant. This is a homage to uh, Hamilton. That Hulk 181 card, you know. It's worth, like, billions right now. <laughs> You know what? It might be worth something. I have the right there. Hello, Risen. 
This has gone up in price. I think I've seen this going for like three something maybe. It's crazy. Um, I'll try to look for the other ones if I have them. Again, I got I don't I got one from Mario. He gave it to me from birthday. Another set I bought as a set, and I think I got that from the comic book kid for a low price. It had a couple of of the like first appearances and all that stuff and. And I think it was one of this as well. So that's why I'm like, I think I should have two more copies in my collection. But at least I... one more. And her, I might have gave her one. So I have to go look through her stuff and, and you know, be an Indian giver. <laughs> and then the, the Glow in the Dark. Which um, I know you got, uh, Jose, you got one last week, a Glow in the Dark that was pretty dope. I have to get that in my collection. And I'll probably see if I get that slab too because I forgot the name of that one. Uh, Nocturna or something like that, I think it was. Um, I love glow in the dark covers, and I have to see where you got that from. Who's the company? I can probably uh, get it uh, online. Sometimes some of these like Scout com Comics, you can just buy directly from their website. They're, they're pretty good at that stuff, um, and I'd be paying these high prices that these some of these comic book shops be asking for. And like, so Noctera, Noctera, okay. Uh, there goes uh, Citizen Cole. <laughs> Jeremy just got on here. We didn't want you on here with your, your beautiful comics and vintage comics you finding your boxes. <laughs> He's pulling out these like comics that are just skyrocketing in prices right now. It's ridiculous. It's awesome, though. Uh, just showed some cool comics. Nothing crazy. Uh, because I know one comic from you will probably blow out all this stuff. But, yep. Yeah, so I'm definitely uh, going to post up what I have. And thank you for watching. All right? Peace. How I get off of this shit? <laughs>